Hey, what's up everybody? My name's Brian and welcome to the channel. Now I get asked all the time what ratchet I would choose, what socket set I would choose, what wrench set I would choose, what is the best tools for beginners and all types of questions all the time. And I try to answer everybody as honestly as I can, but I thought, you know, why don't I just do a video and just say what tools I would pick if I was starting out today with nothing knowing what I know now. So we're gonna go through and pick a whole tool set out, starting out from scratch, starting out with no storage, no anything. And I'm gonna pick out what tools I would pick in particular. And while these may be the right tools for me, I don't know if they're gonna be the right tools for you. And everybody's gonna have their own opinion. And a lot of people's gonna think that they know what tools are best or what tools that they would pick that they think that they know and so on and so forth. There's going to be a million different choices you could make. Are my choices right? Yes, they are right for me. That's it. I'm not guaranteeing that these choices are going to be right for you, but I will say that anything that I'm going to pick here is what I believe to be the best bang for your buck tools that you can start off with now i'm not going to just pick the cheapest tools we're not going to go to harbor freight and buy all the cheapest tools possible we're going to buy some tools from harbor freight we're going to buy some tools from amazon and so on and so forth i'm going to pick what i feel is the best tools possible for the money now what i'm doing here is i'm just going to allocate myself one thousand dollars and i feel like that that's a pretty good budget for somebody starting out if you have less money, then you're going to have to either forego quality or forego quantity, one or the other, but there are certain core things that you're going to need. And this set that I'm going to pick, I believe you could use for many, many years. And in most cases, you probably don't even have to upgrade. In majority of the cases, you don't have to upgrade because you have to ask yourself, are you upgrading because you need to or because you want to? But that's for a different video. So if you have any suggestions, anything that you would pick, anything that you think that I said wrong, leave them down in the comments, but let's do so with some sort of class and with some sort of respect for each other because a lot of people seem to be lacking in that area, unfortunately, which I don't understand because we're all men. You're going to disagree, I'm going to disagree, and we're going to go on about our business. You don't have to get into anything crazy. Let's just keep it civil down in the comments. And doing these types of videos seem to bring out the worst in a lot of people for some reason. So let's get started, and we're going to start off at good old Harbor Freight. Now, this first thing is what I feel there is no equal now a lot of people's going to disagree, but to me, I think that starting off right here with this five drawer tool cart from Harbor Freight is the best option for you. And I feel like that it's really high quality and I feel like you don't ever have to upgrade from this tool cart. Will this tool cart wear out on you? Yeah, it's going to wear out on you over the years, but for the price, $179, you could buy three, four, five of those carts for the price of one of your tool truck carts, and they're just as good quality. I guarantee that. But Harbor Freight has been offering these in a lot of different colors. They're giving you a lot of different options to go with it as far as accessories and whatnot, and those tool carts are of pretty good quality, and they do have quite a bit of store in them so definitely am starting off with the harbor freight five drawer tool cart and i'm gonna pick either blue or black i'm just a basic guy when it comes to something like that the color you pick is gonna be all on you and the tool cart you pick you know there are husky and other options you could look at as well but like i said this is just my list and what i would pick personally next we'll go to ratchets and just like with everything on this list, there's a million different ways you can go. But to me, I would probably look to knowing what I know now and based off of what I've used, even though I don't have a whole bunch of experience with these ratchets, I would check out these Capri ratchets. You can get this set. It comes with a quarter inch flex head, a three eighths flex head and a 17 inch half inch flex head ratchet. They're pretty good quality. They look nice. For $99, I feel like that it'd be a good starter set for somebody. And from what I know so far, I feel like the quality probably is there now. 
you could look towards gear wrench gear wrench has a four piece set that you could get for 99 dollars. it comes with a little 3 8 stubby you could look towards tecton tecton has 90 tooth ratchets they have the 3 8 you could get for around 25 the half inch for 40 or 50 and then you could get a quarter inch for around 20 dollars. so you can check tecton out if you wanted them and i don't think there's nothing wrong with tecton i actually think the tecton ratchets are pretty good but I would check the Capri out. I think that those are pretty nice. And you know, you could also look towards the Pittsburgh Pro ratchets. I think those ratchets are good ratchets. The only thing I don't like about them is the on-off switch. And I'm not even talking about the direction of the on-off switch. I'm talking about they have zero detent and they don't lock into place at all. So it does get on your nerves and it does switch on you a lot but for the price i mean you could get the three eighths for around 15 dollars the half inch 20 so you could save some money if you was on a more of a budget than what i'm on right now then you could definitely look towards the pittsburgh pro and i feel like they would get you a long way okay so now i have my ratchets and i have my tool stores so next i would probably look towards sockets and you could choose a lot of different brands here but in my opinion, man, honestly, to start off with, don't even look towards chrome sockets. Look towards the impact sockets. They have more versatility because you can use a impact socket on a ratchet, whereas vice versa, you're not supposed to use a chrome, chrome socket on an impact. So definitely I would start off with impact sockets and you could go with Pittsburgh Pro here, but they skip sizes. You could look at Tecton. Tecton doesn't skip any sizes and they have complete sets and they're pretty good quality. But if you wanted my opinion, man, I would look at these Sun X sets. You can find this quarter inch Sun X impact socket set, both standard and metric set. And it's a complete set. All the sockets you're really gonna need in quarter inch for around $55. That's a great price. And sticking with Sun X, the 3H set is the same way. And the 3H set is gonna cost you about $71. So for that price, for those two sets, I feel like that that's definitely something you should look at. Those are really high quality sockets. Now, half inch, I would still stay with the Sun X but this sun x set is only either going to be metric or standard and i would probably choose metric just to start off with but you could choose a different brand right here if you wanted to get standard and metric because for this price you could find a standard and metric say tecton half inch set for about the same price but for me i would probably choose this metric set right here because this is a complete half inch set it goes up to 36 i believe let's see here because it goes up to 30 millimeter. Now it does start skipping a little sizes, a few sizes when you get up to some bigger sockets, but this is gonna go up to 30 and it's also gonna come with your extensions. Now this set is gonna cost you about $120. So you may wanna look for something else here if you wanted to get both standard and metric. But like I said, just for me, I would probably just go ahead and choose this set and buy the standard later. And another good thing about these sets is that they come in blow mode blow molded cases so if you wanted to forego socket organization right now you could but if you didn't want to forego socket organization then i would honestly look at the pittsburgh socket organizers they are pretty good quality and you could get standard and metric for like 16 dollars for both sets and what i like about them is they don't have the long pegs they're the stand-up style but they don't have the long pegs that stick through the top so i do like that fact and i've owned the ones i have for a couple years and they're pretty good quality i do like them and they definitely are worth the price for eight dollars you're getting a whole metric quarter three eighths and half inch and then for eight more dollars you're getting quarter three eighths and half inch so you could get all your socket organization right there but like i said if you wanted to save a few dollars or if you don't mind them laying down though this is going to take up a lot more space but you could just keep those in the blow molded cases they come in right now and next we're going to look to wrenches now you could look different ways here as well you could try the icon ones if you want it for 99 dollars. you could look at some gear wrench wrenches you could even find some gear wrench ratcheting wrenches for a decent price but if it were me i would look at this tecton set you can get both metric and standard 
for around $92 complete sets. So that's definitely something I would look toward starting off with wrenches. I mean, you may need to upgrade later and I probably would recommend upgrading wrenches later on, but to start off with as many wrenches as you get and for the price for $92, I would just go ahead and snag both of them. Okay, the next thing is a half inch air impact and this could be interchanged. If you didn't want to get an impact starting out, you could probably get by using just your ratchets. But if I was going to get a half inch impact, I would probably look at that Earthquake XT for $99. I feel like that that's a pretty powerful air impact and $99 is a pretty solid price for that. But I would also consider just getting this gear wrench master hex set. This is going to have all your hex sockets and torque sockets that you're going to need. And it even comes with your e-sockets for around $109. You're going to need this set eventually. I would probably just go ahead and buy this set. And if you had the extra $100, just throw the Earthquake XT air impact on top of it. Or I could try to skimp in to get both, but I would definitely probably try to snag this set right off the bat. And next, sticking with Gear Wrench, is this Gear Wrench pick set. This is a high quality set for around $24, $25, $26. This set is pretty good. I've owned it for a while now and they are good quality and the handles are nice on them. And I feel like for $25, $26, that is an awesome deal. And next I would look for screwdrivers and once again, gear wrench, man. This gear wrench set is a 20 piece set. You're gonna get precision screwdrivers and all your other screwdrivers for around $70. This is a good set. I find myself reaching for these gear wrench screwdrivers almost as much as I'm reaching for my snap-on. And snap-on is my favorite screwdriver. Now, obviously I'm reaching for the snap-on more, but I do catch myself reaching for those gear wrenches. Now you could look at Tekton. Tekton has some pretty cheap screwdrivers and they're even made in the USA. But for me, I would pick the gear wrench. I think that they're great screwdrivers, a complete set for $70. That's gonna last me a long time. And like I said, you probably wouldn't even have to upgrade from that set to be honest. And next, if you're just starting out, especially if you're going to be a mechanic, I would probably snag this Astro lug socket set because you're going to be taking off tires and these sockets will not damage the rims. They're thin wall, they're softer, so you do want to have a decent set. This is a pretty complete set and it costs around $50 to $55 to $56. So for that price, I feel like this is a pretty good buy for somebody to get. Now you could look at, they have Sun X, you could look even look at the Harbor Freight one ones but these are thin walled sockets and you need to have a pretty decent set because they are going to break especially if you're taking off tires a lot so i would probably just go ahead and throw this in my box now next is a pair of 10 inch knipex cobra pliers now this is a little bit expensive these pliers are going to cost you around 26 dollars on amazon but the reason i would choose these is because they're the best in my opinion and these are going to replace your vice grips and everything else you could forego right now then get later and i feel like 10 inch is small enough to be able to do almost anything and still be able to get enough leverage on it if you need it to. So I would definitely just throw that 10 inch pair in my box. And next I would look for a multimeter. Now you probably won't be using a multimeter too much at the beginning, but I would definitely have one. And I would look at this, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, but E-Tech City MSR R500. It's around $10 on Amazon and it's gonna do most of what you need it to do starting off. And you could always upgrade that later, which I probably would upgrade that later on. But to start off, I feel like that that's pretty good and exactly what you're gonna need for the price, especially definitely going in the box. Next, I would pick up a test light while I was at it. And test lights, you need to be a little careful here because you can damage components and fry ECM, so definitely look for a test light that's safe for circuits in an automobile. So I would check out this OTC test light for $20. It's gonna be the only one you're ever gonna need probably. So I would just throw that straight in a box and be done with that purchase. Next, I would look for a good set of pry bars. And to me right here for the money, man, this Craftsman three-piece set made in the USA, these are tough 
good pry bars. I have owned the, my set for years now and I've never broke one. They are great. So I would definitely try to snag those because I don't know what's going on with the whole Lowe's and Craftsman thing. If they're going to even have these anymore or whatever. And Sears, I don't see being around for a long time. And even if you couldn't get them warranty later on, or if Stanley Black and Decker came out with a cheaper junk one or whatever for $20 they're gonna last you're gonna get your money out of them I would definitely look towards those and next would be a breaker bar and I could forego this because I chose the Capri ratchets and I have that 17 inch half inch ratchet but I would probably just go ahead and snag this Pittsburgh Pro breaker bar for $14 it is a top-notch breaker bar i have broke it once but this thing has been abused and it does the job good man it is a great deal for 14 dollars one of the best deals at harbor freight in my opinion so that would be it that's all the tools that i could get in there that's going to run you anywhere between if i would have went ahead and purchased the hex master set and the half inch air impact that's going to cost me between a thousand to eleven hundred dollars so i feel like starting off with nothing and putting those tools in my box I would be good for years and could make a lot of money and could build up in other areas that I felt like I needed to build up. And like I said, in most cases, man, you probably don't never need to upgrade. It's only a want to in a lot of cases, but that's going to be completely up to you. Knowing what I know now, I would probably rock with most of those for the rest of my life because I mean, everything there is a lifetime warranty. So you don't really have to even worry about it. They're going to do the job just as good as most of the expensive tools are going to do. Now, if I was going to choose a cordless impact, I would definitely look towards the DeWalt dollar for dollar. That's a great impact, the DCF version. It's a great half inch impact and the cordless tool line is plenty big enough for you to be able to expand into later now obviously i have switched to milwaukee but the milwaukee is more expensive than that dewalt but if i was worried about money i would look towards the dewalt but in my opinion man when it comes to cordless tools and air tools i would just go ahead this is one of the areas that i do agree with the whole buy once cry once thing if you know you're going to want milwaukee in the end just go ahead and save up and get milwaukee now save your money get milwaukee and just start building from there but that's just my opinion man if you wanted to go ahead and just grab something then i would look for something second hand to start off with and then get your milwaukee later or whatever cordless tool line you're wanting to get into if you can't afford it right off the bat but like i said if you can just go straight into it anyway let me know what you think about it if you want to add to it add to it if you think you know, can do it better upload a video and let me know and i'll go watch it because i'm definitely interested to see if somebody can find some better deals dollar for dollar than i can because i feel like i did pretty good but i appreciate you watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel go down and subscribe below because i'll do more videos like this including projects tips tour reviews and more i appreciate y'all till next time stay real